Hello, uh, and welcome back to Regeneration TV. So I'm just going to do a quick recap on what the guys and, and, and the group here has been talking about in the past couple of months, the origin of Satan, the different theories that exist. So today we did a final recap of all the arguments that exist. Obviously the two major arguments is one that he was a fallen angel. We find that in Ezekiel 28. We find that in Isaiah 14. And um, uh, we also find in 2 Peter 4, we, in Jude 1, 6 to 9, there's great arguments regarding the creation, or, or I'm sorry, the fall of, of Lucifer, and the theory is that he was a fallen angel. Uh, we talked about today about um, if that's the theory, then there are certain questions that have to be answered, such as the free will of angels. Um, <clears throat> and if there's such a free will for angels today or then, is there a likely occurrence that it will happen again, right? These are the questions that this theory has to answer. The other major theory is the theory that he was created for that intention, right? Um, he was created for that specific reason. And we find that in Isaiah where he says, um, I create darkness and I create calamity. When God himself hardens the heart of Pharaoh. So was Satan created specifically for that reason so that God's plan may be carried out? So it was an intentional. So that theory itself has to itself answer a question too. Um, if Satan was actually created for that reason, then should he be himself punished for something that he was created for along with his angels that followed him? So there's a lot of questions to be asked, but um, either one that you pick or either one that you dive into, we suggest that you really dive into and you know why it is you believe it and why it is that you feel that way. Not just take somebody's word for it. Heck, don't even take our word for it. Now go ahead and dive into the word. Uh, see what you think. But make sure you answer the questions or have an answer for the questions that each theory implies. Now, there's some crazy theories out there as well, right? There's the one that says Satan was created between Genesis 1-1 and Genesis 1-2. Where Genesis 1-1 talks about God creates, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And verse 2 talks about in the earth with formless and without void. And some believe that in between there, heaven, in between there, Satan was created, right? That's a theory, um, very little biblical evidence for it, um, and there's other ones. But whatever it is you choose to believe, whether he's a fallen angel, or whether he was created that way, make sure that you know why, and that you can answer the questions as to why you believe that. Not my mom told me, not the pastor says, but the pastor showed me, or my mom showed me, or I saw it for myself, and I read it for myself, and I believe it for this reason. So whatever it is your reason, Make sure that you know why it is you believe that way. So check out the full video if you like on the this screen right here. Here somewhere. Okay? And thank you for watching Regeneration TV.